Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are talking about four reasons why I think the Toyota 86, uh, in this case I'm sitting in the TRD, is more fun to drive than the new Supra. And this is not a video I was expecting to make, it's not a video I was planning on making, uh, but today I am at the Toyota Supra launch and I just finished filming my Supra review. I absolutely loved it. And, and then they had these TRD 86s sitting at the track as well to also take out on the track. And so when I got in the 86 and I got out there on the track, immediately I started smiling and more so than I did in the Supra. And I thought, no, this can't be right. This, this isn't right. I got back in the Supra, I took it around again, and I thought, yep, the Supra is amazing. And it is amazing. It is the better car from a driving standpoint, from a, from a performance standpoint. Which one is better? Which one's going to be faster around a track? It's absolutely hands down the Supra. But then I got back in this after getting back into the Supra thinking, am I crazy? Did I actually enjoy the 86 more? And once again, I got a big grin on my face the second I went back out in this car. And I think there's four reasons why that is, and maybe a fifth one of, of me just being not that experienced of a driver, but we're going to walk through those four reasons. Uh, and the first one, uh, starting with the weight. And again, I want to say that performance-wise, the Supra is better, but which one made me smile more today after going back and forth between the Supra and the 86 on the track? Uh, this one right here, the TRD 86. So reason being, first one is weight. This car weighs 28 37 pounds. The Supra weighs 3397 pounds. So 560 pound difference. It's over a 600 pound difference if you go with the base GT, uh, the base 86 with a manual transmission versus the Supra. So over 600 pound difference, 560 in the case here of the TRD. And that weight makes a huge difference in how the car feels. So once you get out there on the track, you just get this much more lively feel to this 86. I mean, it does everything you're telling it to do. It kind of slides around with you, it plays with you, it does exactly what you command, it turns in very quickly, and you get a response out of it, a playfulness out of it that you do not get with the Supra. And it's not to say that the Supra isn't fun to drive, the Supra is a blast. But weight impacts everything. Weight impacts how you know the car feels when it's steering, acceleration, braking, turning. It affects literally everything. And because there's such a weight differential uh, the, around this tight, twisty, very sharp corner track, the 86 really just shined, and and I was grinning, you know, ear to ear the whole time in the 86. I enjoyed the Supra. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I think it's a phenomenal car. But I'm saying I had more fun. I expressed more joy while driving this. This one. The second reason being the steering. And so I think the steering is genuinely better in the 86. And part of that, again, I believe goes back to the weight, has less weight, so it's easier to get it to twist and turn. Uh, but part of it is that it has a lower ratio. So this has a 13 to one steering rack. The Supra has a 15 to one steering rack. So as a result, you don't turn the wheel as much in the 86 to get that response. And it turns in very quickly when you do. It also has a nice weight to it in the 86. And I think it's very over over uh, assisted in the Supra. So you have to work a little harder here with 86 than you do in the Supra. And that's a bit more rewarding to a driver to have to kind of put in a little steering effort, but also to get the instant response that the steering offers. Now the third reason has to do with what I'm doing right now. This offers you the six speed manual transmission and the Supra desperately needs a manual transmission. Uh, it has the best automatic gearbox I think out there. But, uh, you know, from a fun perspective, from an engagement perspective, sure, I'm not as fast uh, as that automatic transmission, but I enjoy throwing it in the different gears here. And this gearbox itself is actually a lot of fun, uh, especially out there on the track, you know, getting in the right gear, uh, switching between second, third, up to fourth in a couple areas, really fun, really enjoyable. And you just don't get that, uh, you know, the involvement that you offer with a manual transmission in the Supra with the eight speed manual. I I know it's been said a billion times, Supra needs a manual, Supra needs a manual. But I mean, reality is like enthusiasts truly do enjoy these things. Who knows why? It's just fun to go wham and make the noises and row through the gears. Without a doubt, I do believe that that certainly plays a role in why I'm going around the track and why I'm so happy uh, is because this thing has a six-speed manual and in that Supra, it's the ZF eight-speed. 
Now, my final point, point number four, has to do with visibility. And so, you know, sitting in the 86, and it's kind of a trend of Subaru, so I don't know if it was really Subaru that kind of forced this decision, but the 86 has incredible visibility. And so when you're out there on the track and you're looking in front of you, you see absolutely everything. And, you know, track driving, it's all about your eyes, where you need to look. And certainly there are worse cars out there as far as visibility concerned and better drivers out there as far as visibility is concerned and you know they're not going to complain but the fact that you know anybody like I'm not an amazing driver and I can get in this thing and have tons of visibility in front of me not the really narrow windshield that you have in the Supra it allows me to feel more confident about what's going on I know where all four of my tires are I know where the car's at I know where the curbs are at I know where the corners and the apex and where I need to be and everything and so having that visibility I believe in this car really assists in making it fun to drive and perhaps an additional point that's worth mentioning is I am not and never have claimed to be uh, one of the best drivers out there. I enjoy driving, but I don't actively seek out track driving. I do it on these press events, and that's pretty much it. And so because I don't do it all that much, you know, I think I'm not at the level where I can extract all of the potential that the Supra has uh, versus this is a much more approachable car. But I think that correlates much greater with the overall population of people out there buying cars. Reality is most of us are not race car drivers and this car allows you to have fun that you know you're not going to be able to you can drive this thing at eight tenths nine tenths and actually ring it out on a track uh, and and me driving a Supra nine tenths is a race car driver driving a Supra at five tenths like I am not at the level good enough to be out there just absolutely thrashing that thing and and maximizing its potential so this is a much more approachable car and I think that plays a big role that said the way it feels you know, it doesn't matter if I'm a race car driver or not. That's exactly how it feels. And this car is more nimble, more agile, more willing to be tossed around, thrown around. It's more playful. That nature, it has regardless of how good of a driver you are. It just has a really nice uh, ability to be predictable, do exactly what you want, and, and have a very playful nature while it's doing it. And that, I, I believe, I truly believe, comes down to weight lower the mass you can get a car the more enjoyable it's going to be it's why you know the the Mazda MX-5 the new MX-5 is one of my all-time favorites because it's so light it's so playful and this has that nature it is such an enjoyable thing to throw around out there on the track and I couldn't help myself the second I get back out there in this I'm smiling I get in the Supra and it's like okay Jason get in the zone pay attention do everything right you know meet your brake areas like look where you need to slow down where you're on the gas where you're coming in this thing it's like for Get track driving as it should be. Just get out there and throw it around and have fun. You throw out the, the like care of wanting to get that good lap time and you're like, you know what, this is just a blast and I am enjoying myself. And that is what I absolutely love about this 86. So I think it's a phenomenal car. Another joint venture with another company, in this case Subaru instead of BMW. Uh, and, and both of these truly wonderful driver's cars, very wonderful driver's cars. And what I was shocked to feel today, and I was sitting there thinking, should I even make this video because I was debating not and then I thought you know what like this is raw this is what you feel this is what you're thinking you should do it and it's absolutely how I feel I think this is more fun than the Supra so I'm sure uh, that all the Supra people are gonna hate me for that and all the 86 people are gonna love me for that because they got a, a more fun car in my opinion uh, for less money which is amazing so I think this thing has tremendous value it's a riot and it also let me appreciate that you know everyone says the 86 needs more power but honestly where it's at is spot on it is just so much fun out there on the track and you know a Supra is kind of a more powerful 86 they're very very similar in size the Supra has significantly more power way more torque it weighs you know five to six hundred more pounds and so you get it you get that that turbo uh, 86 if that's what you wanted all this time and it turns out in my opinion this is more fun so thank you all so much for watching really appreciate it and if you have any questions or comments of course feel free to leave those below